It's May 30th, 2011. We're sitting in the office at Naomi's Heart Mission, and all of a sudden, three little boys show up at our door. They are starving, barefoot, and dirty. Our cook runs to the kitchen and prepares a plate of rice for each of them, and they are eating the rice so fast that it is falling to the floor. After all of them consumed three plates of rice, they um, are sitting there content, and one of the little boys looks to the other two and starts singing Baby by Justin Bieber. And the other two start giggling, and my heart quickly melts with compassion for these boys. Our bodyguard walks into the kitchen and hands all three of them a bag of rice and a pair of new flip-flops and is ready to send them on their way. But I can't fathom the idea of letting these boys leave and I asked my bodyguard if they can stay with us, but he replied that there is a huge problem with street children in the Philippines and that we just don't have the funds to um, allow them to stay with us. So he urged me to raise money for them, and I went on to my blog and I asked my supporters for $4,000, and within six days, God raised $4,000 to allow the boys to come live at the mission. This is when the first dreams of Obed's house came about. You know, when we look in the Bible, Jesus is always going to the people. And in Matthew 25, 34 through 36, we see um, that God says, Then the king will say to those on his right, Come, you who are blessed by my Father, take your inheritance, the kingdom prepared for you since the creation of the world. For I was hungry, and you gave me something to eat. I was thirsty and you gave me something to drink. I was a stranger, and you invited me in. I needed clothes, and you clothed me. I was sick, you looked after me. I was in prison, and you came to me. People ask me all the time if I'm scared or if I feel that I'm too young, but when I think about Jesus, who died in his early 30s, uh, he was always going around and he was sharing the gospel and knowing that at any moment he could be hated or mocked. You know, never in my wildest dreams did I imagine that I was going to be a missionary, um, living six degrees north of the equator, leaving my comfort zone. None of those were dreams that I had as a little girl. Um, but I know that Jesus Christ laid down his life for me. And so going forth and sharing his gospel with his people is the least that I could do for him. Rico, Benji, and Junior now know Jesus Christ. Once children diving through the dumpsters looking for the next thing to eat now have something greater to live for. You know, in the Bible, Christ doesn't tell us to go but commands us to take care of the stranger, the widow, and the orphan. And my goal for all of the children that come to live in Obed's house is to realize that while their earthly fathers might be absent, their Heavenly Father loves them very much and knows each of them by name. It is my desire that God would allow me to plant the seed in each life that enters through the doors of Obed's house. For each soul to know and love Jesus Christ and to just be so madly in love with Him that they would want to take this love into the community and teach their peers about Christ's love and His grace. Now I am asking you to come alongside me on this mission, this mission of hope and restoration that started that Sunday morning in May when three little boys stole my heart. Obed's house will act as a new beginning for children coming off of the streets or from neglected homes. Our purpose is to teach these children about Jesus Christ and that they would go out into the world and share the same love with others. Proverbs 22.6 tells us to train a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will never turn from it.